Flesh-eating beetles are being used to clean up bones at Utah State University. Yeah, it's actually part of the school's vet program. New specialist Mike Anderson joins us to explain how it all works. Mike? Yeah, Dan and Dini, you know, uh, museums all over the country actually use this method, so maybe it's a little less crazy than it sounds, but uh, Scott Hexham has tried boiling water uh, and using different solvents to clean up his bones, and he says this seemed to make the most sense. What do you find out here? This is one a lot of people will have heard of. It's a deer. Could end up in Scott Hexham's office. Granted, not all of these bones are roadkill. This was in a box here. I haven't even figured out what it is yet but it's very misshapen. Many of them help teach future veterinarians and assistants, while others are just for the collection. I guess I have a tendency to keep whatever might come my way in case it does prove interesting or useful. But when it comes to cleaning the bones, Hexum has a favorite method. I just have to keep them at a certain temperature and they do most of the work. What's known as dermistid beetles eat the flesh from the bones, cleaning up a small skull like this crane in just a few days. We had to make sure that the smell was minimized because there's other offices and research labs nearby. That's why the beetle bin has a HVAC system to minimize any odors. And Hexum says the beetles aren't able to climb up the plastic surface inside of what he's coined the petting zoo. <laughs> That's just my sense of humor. Yeah, the flesh-eating beetles don't get a ton of visitors, but they do serve a purpose. Ones tend to be interesting because they're the really almost the only thing we can keep for any length of time. Giving students a chance to study several kinds of animals that they may have to help in the future, along with many more. The hammerhead's pretty distinct skull. As the collection continues to grow. It'll always evolve. It'll always be in progress. And Hexum says he hasn't counted, but he's got roughly around 100 skulls in there. And, uh, you know, back in Illinois, where he taught before, he said he had around four colonies of the beetles. Right now, he has a lot less, about 1,000. Back to you. Mike, perfect story for the eve of Halloween, yeah, right? It is. <laughs> Thanks.